SpaceX's Starlink photobombed my picture of the Northern Lights. I went to Iceland a few months ago to cross off a bucket list item. I wanted to see the Northern Lights. It was a spectacular trip, but when I was going back through my photos recently, I saw something very interesting in one of the images, the telltale streak of Starlink satellites. Starlink is SpaceX's mega constellation for satellite internet, and as of the time of this video, there are over 5,000 Starlink satellites in orbit. Starlink and other satellite constellations are becoming a huge problem, not only for amateur night sky photographers like myself, but also for ground-based astronomy. These satellite trails are interfering with photos of the cosmos, and while the streaks can usually be edited out, they still leave artifacts within the images. It's also a problem for radio astronomy. Starlink satellites apparently leak interfering radio signals. Unless you think, let's just launch more space-based telescopes and it won't be a problem. Well, that's not gonna solve it. A recent study showed that Starlink and other satellites are actually interfering with Hubble images as well. Check out my video on that for more. And the problem is just getting worse with the more satellites we send up there. To their credit, SpaceX has taken the problem seriously and has looked at redesigning the Starlink satellites. There have been some ideas that didn't pan out. Painting the satellites black to limit reflectiveness was interesting in theory, but it meant they absorbed too much radiation and overheated in orbit. SpaceX has found success by using sunshades to limit the light reflected back to Earth, but it's not quite enough. And the next round of Starlink satellites are going to be twice as big as the current generation. Currently, the brightest object besides the moon in some areas of the night sky is a satellite. Watch my video on Blue Walker 3 for more information on that. So this is a problem we need to figure out sooner rather than later. But at least my story has a happy ending. If you are worried about me and my Aurora Borealis photo, don't worry. I was able to wait a few minutes and get an even more brilliant picture with no Starlink satellites to be found.